Hi, my name is Gretchen and I'm a volunteer at the SNAP table at the Stanton Farmers Market. SNAP stands for Supplemental Nutritional Assistance Program. It's a benefit for people who uh, make below a certain income level and it provides monetary assistance to buy food groceries. Uh, depending upon what your income is, you get a different benefit amount monthly. When people come, they tell us how much they would like to spend. We <laughs> process their transaction just like a debit card, and we give them tokens that equal the amount that they would like to spend. So here's a $1 token. And here's a $5 token. And on the back, they say Stanton Farmer's Market. Now what's really great is that because of a grant from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, we participate, like some other markets in the area, in the Virginia Fresh Match program, which means that we can double their purchase amount for fruits and vegetables. So if somebody gets $20 in tokens, we will give them $20 in coupons as well. So we have these $1 coupons and these $5 coupons. And it's really great because it encourages people to buy fresh fruits and vegetables that have been grown locally. It benefits them. It benefits our local farmers. And it really stretches the budget. Uh, a woman just came here and told me that her SNAP benefits have been reduced recently to $55 a month. And um, it's really tight, she said, and she tries to save her SNAP benefits for the farmer's market because she knows she can get double her money here, which is a really, really great program. We love it, and I love being a volunteer. We're always looking for new volunteers who are willing to make a commitment to work at least once a month for either a three-hour shift early morning or a three-hour shift later morning. qualify for SNAP, you can apply and you can do that online. If you just Googled SNAP, um, I think it's commonhelp.gov or commonhelpvirginia.gov, there's a SNAP application on there. You can call the Department of Social Services. The other thing is you can also let people who are on SNAP know about this pro pro program at the farmer's market. And we're not the only farmer's market that participates. The Project Grows markets, which are in Waynesboro, and they have some mobile markets in the area. They also offer the same benefit, although we all have our own, you know, tokens and coupons that you can't cross markets with. Um, but let people know, because that's really the biggest challenge, is to let the people who receive SNAP benefits know that they can double their money at farmers markets, get fresh, healthy food that often is perceived as unaffordable. With this matching program, it becomes affordable. So thank you so much for asking. We hope you'll spread the word um, and maybe be a volunteer. <laughs> Thanks. Our own Ralph Steger is part of the group that is sponsoring a booth at the Saturday Farmer's Market. Farmer's Market. Okay, this says, Dear Senator, oh, this is a copy of the letter that, that we, the kind of thing they want to hear from us. Correct. Okay. This is a sample letter that we will use uh, this Sunday when we do our letter writing party. Um, and you, we ask you, as the writer to do whatever you would like to do to personalize this letter for, from you. So what our real concern is that we want to protect SNAP at the level that it currently is at. We want to include along with that WIC, which is a program for women 
uh, with young children. Uh, and there are several other programs uh, for U.S. Uh, hunger programs, and there are some international programs also in there. And they're all in the Farm Bill, which has to be renewed every five years, and this year is the next time. They are expected at this point that it will be called up for a vote in September of this year. So we need to get these letters in now, and we will hit them just with the letters just as they're about to go vote. Um, we need their support of our senators and our representatives uh, to keep these prog programs alive in, within the Farm Bill. So we're asking you to come write this in your own hand, uh, personalize the letter any way you see fit, make sure you put your name and address on the letter somewhere. And that's important. It verifies that you're a person, <laughs> not a robot, um, and it will help them to return a, some type of answer to you. And our experience in the past has been you will get a response back. Um, okay, good. And then, so people are to personalize this, you add a sentence or two about why it's important to you. Right. Uh, as Christians, I think we ought to there be concerned about helping others. And, and I would say, don't be, um, don't worry about saying that. Make sure you put that in, that as Christians, this is one of our most important programs, you is bet. feeding the hungry, right. taking care of our neighbors. Exactly. So, uh, what we're asking, after church Sunday, come on downstairs, where we, we will have lemonade, coffee, sweets, air conditioning, <laughs> and everything else you will need to write the letters. And pens and paper, yep. An envelope, and I think that's marvelous. Good. We'll see you then.